what's good everybody it's your girl jacayla a and we back with another nail tutorial this cute little halloween set and why did i do it because i just added acrylic nails as an option to my website after my last video so many of y'all asked and i had to come through like four people asked do they come in acrylic do they come in acrylic because the cover um base gels that i use literally they like mimic acrylic so people will be thinking that they're acrylic they're very durable they're very strong and they do mimic a very pretty cover color but it's literally not even necessary to always do acrylic it's just a preference type of thing i believe in the durability and the longevity of my press-ons without acrylic but it's very possible to do them with so here we are we start with our plain nail no i do not prep and buff my nail i don't even do that for polish y'all know why because i use base coat and i never had any issues it works for me so here with acrylic i do the same thing now here now i'm on my third bead i went in with my first and my second bead quickly and the video sped up but i also was moving quickly i feel like my acrylic press ons go so quick but here is my fourth bead and this is the bead that makes people's acrylic press-ons shrink that last bead up at the tip has to be very thin you see how i went in i put it very thin and then i came and i turned my brush or i mean turned my nail around like it is now and i'm really taking that product off i'm taking that product off i'm really making sure that my application is thin with the tips that i use i use a whole like a myriad of tips i use uh aliexpress tula real deal uh email couture like i just get my tips from wherever amazon got them it's so many good ones um out there but as far as the apex i'm never worried about it because they are always built in the apex is always built into these gel x even a prey they, they you know that's a little bit fancy but um very high quality though very very good durability and quality these gel x slash press on tips always have apex built into them so i just want to stress to you that you are not trying to build a structure of a nail you're literally just painting on the cover color so that our um base for our design is uh nude that's that's just what we want to do if it was clear we'd be doing clear if it was white you know the same principles are there but you're not trying to pack on that product that's how you get people with um shrinking press on nails okay so i just want to stress that it's a very thin layer moving forward after we let it dry about 10 minutes that's how long it took me in a cold room um then i'm filing it once i start clicking that file up against it i know it's good to go i do get my edges immediately because that's really all i need to get because my application was clean my application is not flawless so i still do have to go over and buff out and etch out any surface issues or any bump any lump any of that you know we want a perfect application so this does make acrylic press ons a little bit more time consuming because there's a whole filing process that you would otherwise not have to do with gel but that's why we charge a little bit more i charge about ten dollars more for an acrylic set um, versus a gel set because it is more product it is more cost effective and it is more time consuming with that filing process but after that's all said and done we did that on all five of the nails we're gonna go in with our base coat yes i do still use base coat if i did not want to use base coat i will go in right now with a buffer this will be the step where we etch out or we really like smooth over all of the lines within the set from that filing process but i feel like it's so much easier to just use a base coat those are my colors i'm using my black and white i always use a brown a tan and an orange and that is really the five colors of the set i didn't have to use anymore i did use my brown to darken up and deepen my orange because i wanted a little bit more fall vibe as you can see this is coming right out the bottle neon is giving summer and you know we're just not there anymore so i just went ahead in and mixed it you want to be very light-handed because very quickly it gets dark very quickly it gets dark when you're working with a real real deep brown and a real deep black you know what well, black is just black but when you're working with those deep colors and you mix them in you need to be doing it liberally now my art was not eating eating like it really should have been because it's a very simple design across the board all of the designs today are very cutesy and very simple but you can see it's because my brush is fraying out you see all them hairs you're gonna continue to see them because i let my brush dry with the hairs just frayed out so now that i'm trying to use my brush it's a little bit harder a tip about your brush being 
at a real crispy point is after you clean your brush whether you're using alcohol like you should be or acetone like i use and shouldn't be because it dries out your brush and it does not provide the longevity of your brush but you know I, I acknowledge my issues after you clean your brush however you clean it put a little cuticle oil on your brush and then pull your brush to a point like a very sharp crispy point and then when you're ready to use it all you have to do is alcohol that same very that very same brush and then keep it moving so that's just a tip for the longevity of your brush. I'm literally looking at mine now at a very crispy point because I'm doing the right thing today, but I did not do the right thing before. So you just don't have to deal with my brush. I did all of this artwork uncured and now that I got the base down first layer of artwork on all five nails now I'm curing for 60 seconds it's very very self-explanatory we're doing a mummy nail we're doing a ghost nail it's my favorite ghost nail to do and it's very very easy and then we're gonna do some like Frankenstein stitches on a couple of the nails and then we're gonna go in with the very trendy pumpkin stacked the stacked pumpkin look I saw Ty Barbie do this. That's where I got this from. She did it with a three stack, but my nail is not so long. If I had a little bit longer of a nail and I didn't want to just cover the whole nail, I would have did the three stack, but the two stack is still cute.
before we go in and cure our second pumpkin we are using a dotting tool to make the eyes and mouth i just did eyes for the mummy i feel like it's real cutesy you don't gotta give it a mouth if you don't want to and then this is really what sells this particular design is the outline aside from the outline it's just a bunch of color blocking you could do patches you could do a french you could do just you know asymmetrical lines like i did you could do hearts i've been seeing people get real creative and cutesy with it and it's always gonna give halloween that's a a, a staple this design really for halloween is a staple Thank you for watching. 